I love it's Mel Eves, 11 Sports. And uh, we've just seen England go out of the World Cup. And we've also seen Brazil. But England, I actually got a text from uh, Roger Waters, the running wizard who, uh, who works with us. And uh, his question was, why can't England players run? The Germans can run. Why can't we? And that's probably because he, we need to go down to, uh, to grassroots and fundamentals in the fact of our footballers taught how to run. The basic techniques and movement patterns of how to run, that's the key. We know that they're supposed to be uh, that intrinsically uh, fit, but if they actually can't move, because they did look, the vast majority of the, the England players, compared to the German lads, didn't really move comfortably. Uh, and and the, the longer in the game that goes, along with other things, that will actually show up, which it did, because on the break we just couldn't keep up with them. Um, and it was embarrassing. Now, we use, a te we use at uh, 11 Sports something called the three E's, which is exercise, how you move is the first E, and that, that's down to the, the running techniques. The second G is what you eat. Are all, are all the, um, are all the players absolutely optimising their diet on exactly what they should be eating for themselves, um, or is it a, is it a one size fits all, or is it a general, um, uh, general food for everybody, and then you choose what you want, but unless the players individually know exactly what they should eat for them for them. They're not going to optimise their performance. And the third E, which, is, which was absolutely uh, fundamental, is are they emotionally in the zone? What we call emotional strength, was it there? And I don't think it was. I've never seen some of the England players um, so dispirited or out of flow. So the fundamentals of what we help with weren't there. Movement patterns, they don't move as well as they should. Don't know about what, what goes what they're taking in, but I suspect it could be better. And the third thing about being in the zone, they certainly weren't in the zone. And there are specific te proven techniques that can be used uh, to help any player get in the zone so that they, the key is that they perform optimally under pressure on a consistent basis to their full potential and we clearly clearly didn't do it now that's got to come down to the basics of of the um, how footballers are taught and the, the whole structure of, uh, how young, of how young players are brought through and we really need to think about this because uh, I know from my experience within the game that certainly very, very few players get the benefits of everything that I've spoken about uh, and it certainly, um, it certainly needs to be overall, overall and uh, you know, let's, let's get it done so that the next, the next World Cup uh, we, we really, we do give a good account of ourselves.